Lilag, thanks for joining! In today's video, I am very excited, we are doing, finally, a video where I start to do my first impressions, I've gone double Italian, of a buttload of products that have been sat over there since before Christmas. And today's the day, yes! So I'm gonna be going through and testing as many new products as I can. I'm also gonna be answering some of your questions. So thank you so much for sending in so many questions. They were all really, really fun to answer. Um, so yeah, so go and grab a drink, grab a snack, get yourself comfy cozy, get your favorite blankie on, and let's, let's test some new makeup and answer some of your questions. Um, I've got Charlotte sat here doing a little home skibble. Bit more, bit more. There you go. There she is. Um, so if you hear any mutterings, we're not haunted. <laughs> it's just Charlotte. Home skill going on there. Layla Land going on here. We are the queens of the multitask. Yes. Right. So these are all things, as I mentioned in the intro. I'm going to have to remember to mention that in the intro now. <laughs> Um, these are all things that I've either bought myself, been sent in PR, or I've got in um, subscription boxes. So they've been sat in a pile for ages waiting for me to test them on camera. So I'm going to try and use as many as I can today in one video, but I've still got quite a large pile over there. Regardless! So let's get, let's just get cracking. Let's just. Um, I will say as well, thank you so much for sending me questions. I never get questions. It really annoys me because I love watching Q&A videos. I like doing little Q&A bits. Um, but I never, ever get enough questions to do like a proper video on it. So if I ever get like one or two questions, I'll just answer them like on my Instagram stories or something. Um, but yeah, I actually got tons of questions this time. So thank you so much! making my dreams come true aren't you all of it sure i'm gonna do my eyes first which is what i would normally do anyway especially with a new uh, eyeshadow palette or new like single eyeshadows um and particularly with a new brand because i don't know how much it's gonna fall onto my face it's miserable af out there we live in lancashire it's february we can all just guess at how great it is so i'm fancying a nice glowy kind of almost summery vibe just to brighten my day up a little bit um, so that's what we're going to do and I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate because for me this just stays tacky that little bit longer. Ooh, that went up, I just slipped and went totally up to my eyebrow but there we go. Let's just cover the eyebrow up shall we because it's a mess. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this one. This was definitely in a subscription box, however I cannot remember which one. I'm thinking it was a birch box. So we have got the Forgive Me Susie eyeshadow palette in I swear, but I is in I get it. Um, and it's just a really nice looking warm toned, neutral, brownie, bronzy kind of palette going on, which I leaks. So yeah, I'm going to use that one. Like I said, I'm going for sort of a bronzy kind of glowy vibage. So let's just do that, shall we? So I think I'm gonna go in with this matte kind of orange color there. And then I'm gonna go in with this one in the crease and just kind of use those two to um, build up the crease and just create some definition and some depth and some, some dimension in the eye. And then I think I'm probably gonna stick with this bronzy one in the middle for the main part of my eyelid. I'm gonna do this one in the inner corner and then this one on the end, which is another kind of reddy brown. Looks a little shimmery, but not as shimmery as the other two. I'm gonna probably use that underneath. So that's the plan. We all know me, whether that's the plan we stick to and that's what we get is another thing. I need a fluffy brush, please, hello. Shall we use you? Let's use you, just let's. Um, obviously there's no mirror with this one, so I will be going in with my trusty handheld from Prime Arnie. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's just see what we get, shall we? See what we get. I'm gonna go down the list of questions, so that's just how I'm gonna do it. Um, so the first couple of questions, if, oh, the first couple of questions are from Natalie V. If you do not follow Natalie, what are you doing? What are you doing? If you're following me, but you're not following Natalie, like, oh my God, you're in for a shock. She is awesome. She is absolutely incredible. The eye looks, mm. and she's also an incredible photographer as well. So go do that. I'm gonna leave everybody that sent me a question, I'm gonna leave a link to their socials as well. So 
Right, okay, so the first one from Natalie is what's my ride or die palette. Um, I'm assuming in that we mean eye palette. This is like asking me what my favourite child is. Um, <laughs> ooh, okay. Well, first impressions of this one is pigment. Quite a lot of fallout, quite a lot of off the thing, but I don't actually know what that means. I don't know whether that means it's going to be good or not. It's just a fact. It's what it did. Do with that what you will. Bit of fallout in the pan. Let's see what it does on our face. It's still, even though I've tapped it off, it's still very pigmented on the brush. So there we go. Um, ooh, oh my God, that is pigment. Oh, okay, right. Uh, I don't know why I wasn't expecting that, but there we go. Probably gonna be a revolution one because they're kind of the bulk of my collection. It used to be Flawless 4. That used to be the one I went for all the time. It used to be the one that would you know kind of just go with everything i was wearing and what i was doing um i think though as my skills i like to think have developed um i feel like i'm a bit more adventurous with what i reach for on kind of a more regular basis and i think for me it depends what mood i'm in as well and i can pretty much say that i split my time between tammy's well, both the Tammy's actually. If I'm feeling like my neutrals, then it would be Tammy's Tropical Paradise palette, which was her first one with Revolution. If I'm feeling very colourful and very like bright and rainbowy, then that would be uh, Tammy's Tropical Carnival palette, which is just amazing for kind of your rainbow colours and lots of shimmers and really, really pigmented mattes. Um, and then if I'm feeling kind of a bit, bit dark and a bit deeper, then it will be Kami's Make Magic palette. And oh my God, the pressed kind of, um, pressed glitter, what is it? There's some that are just a different texture. They're not quite shimmers, but oh my God, they're just awesome. They're just amazing. So yeah, so they would be, I know that's three palettes, but trust me, the fact that I've managed to narrow that down to three is incredible is actually incredible um i tell you what else is incredible is this palette i'm actually really really loving the pigment and how this is blending like even when i'm just blending the edges there it's not the pigment's not disappearing it's just blending that's really good and you thought right let's get on with the other eye right so now i'm going to go in with that second matte and just deepen that up just on kind of the outer v and then a little bit into the crease just to deepen that a little bit even though i've got the deepest natural eye creases in the world so uh, i'm just going in with the same brush but i'm just going to turn it around to the other side that i've not used yet uh right next question next question i think the next one's from nile as well brows before or after foundation uh is definitely an after for me definitely an after maybe that will change maybe i will become a brows before foundation girl this one is actually building up the colors really nicely so it looks like that is actually blending away really nicely oh i like it can we get back around to wash them again so i can wear this every day thank you look at that that's just blown out usually if i do like an airbrush blown out uh, crease there i will use a different shade so i'll put like a lighter shade on top of it this has literally just been with wiping off the brush and it's still looking airbrushed at the top. <gasps> we might have did something! Elixir, elixir! If you are new around here, we do have the elixir scale. Play along with how many times I say elixir. Right then. Elixir. Okay, so we're on to the shadows. So I'm going to try a brush first. I'm going to just use a flat brush for the... What's all the hand signals about? I'm doing a lot of going on shivers forgot what i was doing then uh hello flat brush hello bear with well i just put my teacher head on uh do you have a five or two three eight and ten two three four yeah okay looks right to me anyway thank you you're very welcome right like i said fall out in the pan fall out well big cloud off when i tap 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 um but absolutely not one iota of it on my cheek not one and still super pigmented on my eyes so very impressed with that one so like i said i'm gonna go in with this one in the middle which is the kind of bronzy shimmery looking one uh right next question shall we have a next question 
Ah, next question is again from Natalie, and it says, when did you first fall in love with makeup? Well, as I am 112 years old, it was quite a long time ago. Oh, these look so buttery. Again, fall out in the pan and a little bit off the brush, but it still looks really buttery and nice. Oh, this is always at the point where I think, I really hope the camera is picking this up because that is really nice. I'm gonna look pretty. Okay, now this one, weirdly, has got more fallout than the map. There's quite a lot came off onto my tissue paper and then there's just some fallen onto my cheek. But this is why I do my eyes first. It doesn't matter. Right, on to Natalie's question then. When did I first fall in love with makeup? So it was definitely in the 80s because I used to sit and watch my mum. My mum has always been one for, you know, uh, grooming herself and always making herself look presentable and she always smells amazing. She's kind of that girl. Uh, she worked as a radio Geographer at our town's hospital and you know was very well respected and very very good at her job and she would literally be on call get a police escort into work because something horrific had happened she'd be in the car driving this is like in the mid 80s and would literally have red lipstick and just go vroom, vroom, no mirror in the dark and look absolutely flawless like the woman has made a deal with something because that was straight up voodoo yeah i would kind of sit and watch her and i would kind of look at models and pop stars and just be so interested in it but i also was a I just had a really weird time as a kid where I still do it now. Like, if you follow me on social media, Twitter in particular, like, I still sometimes have little meltdowns now where I think it's just mad imposter syndrome. So I'll just kind of think, right, well, there's no point me doing anything because I'm not as good as, as, as everybody else. So why would anybody watch me doing anything? Because, you know, I'm not as good as people like Natalie or Katie Eve or Tammy or Carmi or Jeffree Star or Jackie Aina or, you know, any of the people that I follow. And I kind of, I've always been like this. And I think, I think I would watch like my mum put makeup on and I would be very interested in the artistry of makeup and you know, looking at people like Grace Jones in the 80s and um, I discovered drag then as well. So I discovered people like um, Danny LaRue, uh, Paul O'Grady, RuPaul. And that was kind of so fascinating to me how makeup could give this just incredible transformation into just being a completely different person. But I don't know, I kind of thought, well, I'm not creative and i can't draw and i can't i'm not pretty enough to wear makeup and i'm not good enough to put it on so i kind of would admire it from afar really for a long time so yeah i would kind of watch very interestedly with makeup and then as i say i grew up and started going out and started wearing makeup but again it was more a case of um i didn't really know how to do it and i didn't really know what i was doing I'm just going in with that lighter bronzy shade it's more of a yellowy bronze i'm going to pop that on the inner third Oh, that's nice. It's more of like a, yeah, it's definitely a more orangey bronze than the brownie bronze. So yeah, I just think as well, it's, it's just been a case of me not feeling good enough and not feeling like I know what I'm doing enough to do it justice or not feeling confident enough to just experiment. My mum actually bought me a book when I was a teenager and I kind of picked up a few tips from there, but that was it. And then I'd kind of mentioned that a few years ago that, you know, I was getting more into it and what about this and what about that? And I was kind of asking my mum about things and she bought me a book again. I don't know if it's a Christmas or my birthday a few years ago and it was a Bobby Brown one. And yeah, it just snowballed. I think just age as in me kind of growing up and just you know feeling a bit more confident and a little bit more like no I am creative actually I'm just not creative at the things that the people around me have generally been creative at like I say it's kind of always been there but myself getting into it has only been about three years even though I do get paid to do people's makeup I still struggle to refer to myself as a makeup artist um but that'll come that'll come that's okay that was a really roundabout long-winded answer wasn't it Right, so the eyes are done as much as I can do them up to now because I'm going to go in afterwards with eyeliner and the uh, lower lash line. I'm just using my NYX uh, Honey Dew Me Up primer. Uh, right then, I'm pausing because I've got a liquid highlighter and I don't know whether to use it under my foundation or over. Stuff it, I'm going to go over. <laughs> I know, mental. <coughs> Charlotte's got TV. You alright? Yeah. Everything okay? Okay. Uh, right, the next one I'm going to try is 
the foundation i don't know if it's ex1 or x1 so it's the letter e the letter x number one um invisiwear liquid foundation um i did shade match this when i still had a bit of fake tan on i will be re-tanning but i think i'm in kind of the uh it's gone stages so don't know if this color is still going to work but we're going to see skin like pigments even out complexion for perfect coverage that is almost invisible here yeah i like a full coverage so hopefully we still get that oil and fragrance free non-pore clogging dermatologically tested dermatologically tested sorry uh and it's water-based which i leaks so yeah let's just do it i think it was 12 pounds so let's try this i'm gonna use miss sponge as i would anyway Hello. Oh. Right, so there's two pumps going on there. I know it looked like three, but one was kind of a halfway situation. It does look very watery. Oh my god. That actually goes quite a long way. <gasps> oh my god! is really weird okay on camera it sort of looks a little pale but as i'm looking in the mirror in front of me i can't see where it is i think i think it's maybe not going to be full coverage enough um but let me finish it off and let me go in with another layer because i did only put a tiny bit on and we'll see my initial thoughts at this point is that this is going to be a really good summer foundation when i just want a little bit but obviously i don't want it three inches of it caked on that i'm just going to sweat and feel uncomfortable how do you spell cake uh right coverage wise yeah for me at the moment this is still not enough coverage as in i like super full coverage cover me up stick a mask on which i don't think this is giving me but it's not claiming to want to give me either so that's fine <laughs> right so i'm gonna now go in with concealer and then we're gonna try a really cute looking liquid highlighter. Let's have another question. This one is from See Me Not CP. So this is one of my most favorite um, mutuals, or my most favorite followers on Twitter. So we've got two questions here. So I'll address the first one first. A beauty blender or a foundation brush for dry skin. My skin at the moment is on the drier side because it's having a meltdown. Uh, what I've found is using a brush tends to rough up my skin more, which is just going to emphasise them more and just going to make them more obvious. So my recommendation would be use a water-based foundation because you're going to get a bit of hydration from it being water-based and then use um, a sponge to do your foundation um it just doesn't rough it up and make it more obvious um and then hopefully whilst you're doing all your serum work and you're using your water-based foundations it will kind of just chill out a little bit um so yeah that is my advice on that one. Oh, best foundation for dry slash sensitive skin uh, my absolute favorite that i found for uh when my skin is feeling drier i do use it most of the time anyway whether my skin is feeling on the normal side or not but definitely when it's dry the one i absolutely will reach to over anything else is the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating foundation that to me has been the best one it doesn't show up it's kind of thick enough to not show up the dry flakes and any kind of dry areas it makes your whole skin look the same texture so if you've got kind of dry bits and then normal bits or even oily bits and dry bits because that happens as well um <clears throat> it kind of makes the skin look really even if the Fenty one is um, out of your price range, because trust me, I saved up to get mine and it's already kind of running out, so I'm starting to save up again for a new one. I get that it's expensive. Try, in that case, the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. Um, and again, use it with a water-based primer and use it with the Conceal and Hydrate concealers as well. I do have, or I have had, very sensitive skin and I've not had a reaction to either one of those as well. So on the sensitive skin side... For me personally, I've never had a reaction. Obviously, do a little bit of a test first and just see how you get on. Um, but yeah, personally speaking, I've not had a problem with either of them, sensitivity-wise. Right, I've got 20 minutes. Let's crack on. Okay, so how cute is this for a start? This has been sat there, I think, since before Christmas. And haven't I been good at not opening it? Yeah. It's so cute. Look at it. It's a little milk carton. <gasps> right. 
I know, it's got a little smiley face on, oh, hello. Um, so this is by the, the no it isn't. This is by the Beauty Crop. Thank you very much. Um, and it's Glow Milk, nourished with coconut and argan oil. It's so little! And that's coming from the little one. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of it just on the back of my hand. So one, two, that's all I'm doing, two drops, that's all I'm doing. This is a beautiful champagne gold colour. Love it. And it's going to go so well. So you can either use your fingers, and I would suggest your ring finger, just to kind of put on like that. You can use like a, a domed flat brush, like a foundation brush or a domed um, eyeshadow brush. Or you can use your beauty blender, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm going to use it on the bit that I've put my foundation on with. And I'm just going to tap it round my hand first. Oh my God, look at that. That is such a nice sheen. It's not too blinding. Oh, look at him. Look, see. It's not mega blinding, but that has just got that beautiful lip from within, which is exactly what it says on the milk carton. Okay, that is such a nice. Where's my mirror? Where's my mirror? Need my close up. Um, oh my God, I love it. It's such a nice, natural, glowy kind of finish on it. I really like that. Right, so I like him then. Um, oh, if you're playing along at home, I will be leaving links to these. Right, I think I'm just going to um, set and then do all my powdery stuff. So I'll go off camera and do that, and then I'll be back to use some new goodies. So bear with. Okie dokie. Right, I've done my powder. I've done my contour. I've done my blush, I've done my eyebrows. Let's let's start, shall we? Um, right, I'm really excited for this one. This is the CYO Bronzing Rocks in Rock and Gold, which is wonderful. The reason I'm so excited about this is that it's kind of a bit of a flashback to me because we used to use things like this in the 90s. So these are little rocks um and we've got some pinky ones and some goldy ones and you get a brush like so you wang your brush around in your little rocks tap 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 and then you dust it on and you kind of get the color from the rocks and it's just it's i just love it i don't know why i just really really love it um oh that is giving a bit of color actually oh and a bit of a sheen oh we leaks up we leaks up we leaks up we leaks up i don't know if this oh yeah look you see that lovely little pinky rose gold sheen there <laughs> oh i like it Oh, I love it. And it's it's a really nice natural one, actually. That sheen is gorgeous. Can you see that? Oh, I love it. It doesn't look massively pigmented either, but it just is giving such a nice effect. Oh, I want to actually go back in before I start with anything else to this eye palette and just do my underneath uh, the lower lash line. So... I'm just going back in with the uh, brush we use for the crease. I've wiped it all off, that's fine. And I'm just gonna go into this end one, which is the kind of red, sort of bricky color. Got, it looks like it's got a bit of a shimmer to it, but not as much as the other two. And just pop that underneath. It looks really red on the brush. Oh, oh my God, that is so red. Do you know what, that is really red, but it really goes with the others, especially the crease color. Love it, and it's actually blown out and diffused really nicely, and with a Laura Laura pigment. I like that. Right, I really like that, and I really like how it's buffed itself out. Oh. Right, so bear with because time's ticking on a little bit longer than I anticipated, and I need to run out and pick my eldest up from college. So just bear with. I'm gonna go and do that, looking like this, and then I'm gonna come back and we'll finish, and we'll go into some more questions, and we'll just chill out a little bit, shall we? So, hang on. There, I'm back now. We link thought. We link thought. I love it when everyone's home. So I've only 
finally got two more new things that I want to try and they're both Revolution products. I've got the Revolution Gel Eyeliner. I've also got a hair on the lip. <laughs> um, I do love a gel eyeliner and I've just not used one for ages. And I've also got one of their new mascaras, the Big Lash. Shall we zoom you in a bit for the gel eyeliner? Let's try and zoom the situation. That's a bit much, isn't it? Eh? Hello? Uh, right, so, Revolution Gel Eyeliner. Oh. Alright, so we've got uh, the brush that comes with it. Focus, please, is like so. However, the bristles are a little soft. Softer than what I would normally use for this kind of thing, but we'll go with it and see what it does. And then we've got the actual pot or oh, eyeliner. Uh, and I really love this frosted glass situation. I think so. So I'm going to dip it into here and then I'm going to kind of use the lid to swirl it around as well. Just to kind of take off any excess lumpy bits that could or would have been there. Um, and just kind of tap it at the sides just to sharpen up the brush itself but as I say it feels quite a soft brush so I don't want it to be like splaying open oh what I do like about this brush is how big it is on my eye so I can pretty much stamp on my wing Ooh. really hope this is focusing you know um right okay i like this so far well we about there do we think oh marvelous right so my next question is from diana stillwell um and she asks what's the one make right it says what's the one makeup product you can live without now i don't know whether you meant can't or whether you did mean can so i'm going to answer it both ways around so the one makeup product i can live without um all right so i ended up really concentrating on my liner then and not answering the question <laughs> so i'm just going to use my nyx um just cold pencil just to go and line my waterline um that gel eyeliner though is just the easiest I've been able to do a wing and the happiest I've been with a wing in a long time. So I think I may have found a new favorite uh, eyeliner method. So yes, I think so. I really like that one. I think that's my favorite so far. Yep, yep, totally. I really enjoyed using that one. Um, okay, so um, products I can live without. I would probably say eyeliner, even though I've just had the best time ever doing that one. Um, I think if I had to, you know, desert island it and I was only allowed the bare minimum of makeup, I think it would be foundation, uh, eyeshadow, mascara, and a bit of lip gloss and a bit of blusher. You can, I think you can just, you can be fine with that, really. Um, you actually meant to write what can't I live without. Um makeup wise i think i think i would probably say and again i'm trying to think in terms of if i forgot it on a weekend away do you know what i'd probably say highlighter i absolutely love and i don't know if people realize how much i love a blinding highlighter like i love a highlighter even if i've not got like big eyes on or even if i've just got you know very minimal eye on and even if I've got a nude lip or a bold lip, I would still, for all of those looks, still want a really blinding highlight on my cheeks. Right, so I'm on to my last product in this batch of trying new stuff. Um, and this is the Revolution Big Lash XL Volume Mascara. Um, I definitely don't need lengthening. When my cosmetics brand launches later this year, I'm going to try my best to just not have this absolute nightmare with packaging. One, because it's bloody annoying for people with it, nails and all the rest of it. But like I've said before, it's just not accessible for disabled people. Like if I'm struggling, then someone who's partially sighted or not 
as dexterous with the hands would really struggle and it's so annoying and it's bloody double layered Ugh, bear with <sighs> there i'm in okay big lash mascara like i said i don't need any lengthening situations going on however it is hilarious when i do use a lengthening mascara because oh my god think twiggy on acid but this is apparently like a mega mega volume situation let's have one last question then and then i'm gonna do another video because i've got so much new stuff to be testing and trying out for you and then i've got loads of questions as well and i've still got loads more questions so what we'll probably do is do a part two if that's all right with you and test some new products test some more new products and go through some questions as well is that okay should we do that uh whoa one of these questions is well this question um is from one of another one of my favorite followers uh anxiously me blog on twitter do go and follow them <gasps> right okay i love this question you've just been sucked into a tv show and are now a member of one of the families on it which family would you be a part of and what would your role be <gasps> i love that i am a huge tv watcher um yeah i just watch loads of tv i love it i've always got tv going in the background um so oh okay so i'm just opening this and it's got a proper thick chunky um brush but it's like a, a rubbery silicone brush um and i like the lid as well it's kind of got that stopper to to not get any clumps on it right let's have a do at this on my big old lashes um so yeah i think oh there's two spring into mind i think i would either want to be part of the winchester family on supernatural um and i think my role would be not his spare mum because is it he i only think of one of them um not their spare mum because they're pretty much my age but i think i would be like the big sister auntie type role um and i would very much want to be like you know looking after them after they've come in from a hunt and um if you've not seen it that's hunting monsters not animals um so yeah i would maybe like you know have a nice casserole going for it when they get in and like you know a bottle of beer or whatever whatever their thing is um and just make sure they get looked after do you know what i mean just like de-stress and wind down and like i feel like they don't get any looking after those boys um so yeah i would definitely be the annoying one that fussed around them right as far as this mascara goes i'm really not seeing any volume thickening thing going on I mean, it's, it's coating my lashes nicely, but yeah, there's nothing dramatic going on, which is a bit disappointing, uh, but let's keep going. <sighs> really trying to coat the brush. <laughs> um, yeah, or I think I would, another program that we watch regularly, and by regularly, I mean every day, is uh, One Day at a Time which again if you haven't seen it <laughs> i'm just my eyelashes are stuck together from the gel <laughs> from the liner um yeah if you haven't seen it one day at a time is basically about a cuban american family uh and just following their day-to-day -day lives and and you know what they're getting up to in their struggles the great thing about it is just how diverse it is in terms of the kind of lives that they that they portray in the show and the things the subjects they talk about with that and you know like i said they're a cuban american family so there's a lot of immigration situation going on in there there's a lot of um you know they talk a lot obviously about how they're treated as immigrants and you know that kind of line between well i was born in america but I'm, I'm i'm a cuban so you know i kind of identify with that culture and that heritage um you know and how they're treated and how different their lives are to other people uh you know the main character is there's a single mum one of the kids is gay um so there's kind of those issues come up around you know how difficult it is being a single mum and you know how uh one of the characters is treated when they come out and lots of those issues um 
the grandma lives with them so kind of there's that dynamic going on as well and it's yeah it's just great it's just it's so diverse and just so interesting and just nice to see all these different cultures and different lives being being just there and just just getting on with it it's really good um so yeah i love that one um who would i be in that family i would probably again be kind of an anti-figure i think i'd slot in quite well as an anti-figure um i think i'm the same age as the mum in it so yeah that would be quite good uh to slot in as an auntie um apart from being a mum being an auntie is my favorite ever thing like role that i've ever had like obviously being a mum is like just my number one thing in the whole wide world but being an auntie is just special i love being an auntie so much um i don't get to see my nieces and nephews as much as i would like to um but you know people grow up and get their own lives going on but i absolutely adore the bones of all of them and i've been really lucky to have a really good relationship with my niece and nephew growing up so that's been lovely and it's like it's just like all the fun bits of being a parent um but at the end of the day i'm not responsible <laughs> it's, the end decision is not down to me <laughs> So you can kind of do the fun bit. It's like all the good bits of being best friends with your kids. Um, but the book does not stop with you, which is quite nice. Uh, right, I'm just not getting the the Excel volume side of this in the slightest. And I'm actually bordering on not making my eyelashes look very nice because I'm putting that many layers on trying to get some sort of volumising effect on them yeah i've gone under i've gone above i've put a few layers on and it's just it's just not doing it as an excel like oomph lash situation and as i say i've got damn good lashes so if, the, if there's any lashes it was going to make look extra af it was these ones that it's not doing oh my god yeah this mascara is not doing it man it's not doing it i'm actually disappointed <sighs> Okie dokie, so I just went in and just did my lips with my favourite NYX pencil. This is the NYX Lingerie Push Up uh, Pencil Lipstick, so you can use it as a liner and a lipstick, and it's a bit plumping and it's wonderful, I love it. This is in the shade French Made, if you are interested, so there we go. Okay, so I think uh, my favourite, I think, is going to be a tie between the eyeshadow and the eyeliner. I was really, I don't know why, really surprised um by how much i really like this eyeshadow um i don't know i don't know why yeah as i say where i put him my other joint favorite is the revolution gel eyeliner so it calls it calls itself life proof so whether that means it's kind of sponge sponge proof there's a new one smudge proof whether that's what it means i don't know but i don't fancy doing this because i've got to go and do the big aldi shop in a moment so um so yeah but like i say it's gone on so, look i went italian then it's I've, it's gone on like so nicely i've actually been doubting my eyeliner skills recently because i've been struggling with the felt-tip pens that i've been using um but the brush really helped me to get kind of a fairly even um wing there but yeah they've gone really well it's glid over my eye so nicely and I've got quite kind of textured stretchy eyelids because of my joint condition it makes all my skin really stretchy um so I do struggle sometimes with it kind of skipping over folds almost as it's going across but this just went straight across um and has done really well I could feel it drying down but it now it doesn't feel tight now um which is brilliant so yeah so that's me then i'm gonna go off and do the big shop now and just curse the fact that i have to go and do it because i hate doing it so there we go um but thank you so much for watching i've really enjoyed your company today and thank you so much if you sent me some questions i can't believe one i got enough questions to do a video and two i got enough questions to carry some over for another video in the future that's like blown my tiny little mind so thank you so much um if you did like this video please give me a big thumbs up please make sure you're heading off down there to subscribe if you have made it this far into a Layla Land video 
you might as well subscribe this is what they're all like if you liked this one enough to stay till the end you're gonna like the other ones it's free it's entertaining i don't know what else you want i really don't know what else i can do for you to be honest so head up there to subscribe head up there to watch another video if you're not quite done with Layla land yet and i will see you in my next video please take care of yourselves um i'm sending you the biggest squish um and the biggest squeezes um until next time thanks for watching bye